SAT prep. Here we go. It's the Mad Guy Steve. So, okay, so we got a square root of x plus root x equals 3. Okay, so how we get this one is by first squaring both sides. Okay, so squaring the left-hand side, we just get x plus root x. Squaring this right-hand side, we get 3 squared, which is 9. Okay, but now we still have a radical. Okay, so then we isolate that radical by subtracting x from both sides. So that's root x equals 9 minus x. And now squaring both sides again. So squaring the left-hand side this time gets us uh, x. And then squaring the right-hand side, we get 9 minus, so if we square this side, we get 9 minus x times itself. Okay, in other words, we're going to multiply that out. All right, so that gives us x equals uh, 4, and then we get 9 times 9 is 81 uh, minus 18x, and then plus x squared, okay? Now, it's a quadratic, so we get 0 on one side, factor the other side, set each factor equal to 0. So tracking x, with 0 equals x squared minus 19x plus 81. And now we try factoring the other side. This one isn't factorable, so we just have to use the quadratic formula, okay? So quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, okay? So that would be what? Uh, negative negative 19. So 19 plus or minus the square root of 19 squared minus 4 times 1 times 81 all over 2 times 1, okay? Uh, which simplifies to 19 plus or minus the square root of 37 all over 2, okay? So those would be our two solutions to this equation. Now, we should check them both to check to make sure that they don't violate any restrictions that we have in our original equation. Always remember, math is everywhere.